darling. Where are you? Come on out. I know that you're here, sweetheart. I can feel you. Please just come out. I promise that I'm not angry with you. I'm not. I know what happened. I know what they've been doing. I know that they've been twisting you up while I've been away. Trying to teach you that your time with me wasn't healthy for you and, and that we didn't truly love one another. But I'm back now. I'm back and I'm, I'm here to remind you of what we had and that it's okay and that everything can go back to being exactly how it was. Baby, come on out. Come on, baby doll. I'm sorry, but I'm not in the mood for hide-and-seek. It's been three years. Three years since they made you stop visiting me in prison. I know that they did that, baby. I know. I know that they were the ones at fault. I promise I'm not angry with you. I promise. I broke out of prison just to come here and watch you on your big opening night, baby. Look, I, I even went home and got the suit that you love. I'm sorry it took me so long to break out. I, I wanted to wait for the right time, but when the guards mentioned your show was tonight, well, well, you looked so fucking beautiful giving your speech, baby. I really missed listening to you talk about your work. You, you have this energy about you when you do. It's amazing. Every single guard in my prison were mocking me for not being able to be with you. Not being able to touch the person that I love. Tearing their tongues out might have already been a tiny bit overkill. But then, you know, I had to leave a signature when I broke out. And I made a painting with them. On the wall of my cell. Might not have been the best use of my time doing a prison break, but... I'm eccentric. Isn't that the part that you fell in love with, baby? Do you remember when we first met? Or when we first officially met, I should say. I had been doing my performance art for some time. The barista that was rude to you. That taxi driver that tried to rip you off. Oh, but then there was your old landlord. That woman fleeced you for all that you were worth, so I made her into something beautiful. She looked like a weathermobile after I was done. You always looked so distraught seeing my art, but not that time. That time, you were intrigued. I was watching you from the shadows in that moment, like I always do. And I saw it. I saw that spark ignite in your eyes, watching her body swing about. I knew it so well that I swear my body pulled me forward before I could even realize what I was doing. Until my front 
was flush with your back. You shivered when I put my hand on your hip. Remember? Oh, you outright shook when I whispered in your ear to ask if you liked my art. You turned your head to look at me, just a little, and you whispered, are you the nevermore killer, the man that makes art of his victims? And I was so proud in that moment, like God themselves was asking me for my autograph. That's why you started calling me Raven. Do you remember that, baby? You gave me my first name. The police must have been very convincing to make you this afraid of me, sweetheart. When was I ever mean to you? Did I ever yell at you or raise my voice? Did I ever threaten you? Did I ever hurt you at all? Well, I guess that I did say that I would murder everything human on this planet if you were ever taken from me. That part is true, and you are a human after all. Well, my sincerest apologies for the semantics, but... I think that I've earned some leeway over the years, don't you, sweetheart? Come on, Angel. I promise you I'm not angry that that other man was flirting with you. I'll, I'll clean all of this up, but don't you worry. But I really just want to feel your body against mine right now. So please don't make me wait any longer. You know I'd never hurt you. You're my muse, after all. You're my inspiration. Everything I do, I do for you. Very well. I can wait, my sweet. After all, I do still have this other man's body. I was thinking about calling this particular piece. Wrong place, wrong time. I was thinking about taking some metal scraps and making it look as though he got impaled by some abstract clock while reaching for a glass of ice water. What do you think about that, my muse? A splash of guts around the base to highlight the sheer senselessness of it all. God. And there you are. My magnum opus. Come, 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 come here. Come here, please. Oh, my muse, my love, words cannot express how wonderful your skin feel against mine right now. Oh, you changed your hair a bit. I love it. Let me just get that out of the way of your beautiful face. And there you are. My muse. I missed killing while thinking about you, baby. I missed you so wholly these last few years. Just kissing you again, it makes me so happy. The police will no doubt be here soon. This is a high body count, even for me, but I think that they'll appreciate my take on the Sistine Chapel. 
But don't you, darling. Oh, don't you worry about that, sweetheart. I already thought about all of that. I've secured us this little place in Switzerland. It has a beautiful view and it's very quiet. And I can make my creations and you'll have an entire study for your work. It'll be just like how it was before I was arrested, baby. We can go back to living our happy lives. Happily entangled with one another. You still want that, don't you? To wake up to a new gift every morning. To open our bedroom door to a new expression of my passion. Another opportunity for me to whisper, I made this for you. Just for you. I know what they told you. I know they told you that I was a psychopath. A malicious and murderous serial killer. But you know. You know that I love you, darling. Don't you? You have known that since the moment we met. And just taking your palm and resting it on my chest like this. Just over my heart. <laughs> you still melt. Even now. Yeah, I think that's our cue to leave, baby. Come on. I can't wait to get to our new home and pick up right where we left off. I really missed you, my love. And I have a lot of new techniques to show you, once we're home. And then again, a lot of volunteers just showed up. What do you think, my muse? Should I demonstrate my dedication to you? Right here and now. I think that this video truly demonstrates my acting skills. Because this guy is an artist. And I cannot draw a stick figure without it looking as though they have debilitating scoliosis.